Now let's look at the last example in this chapter. Very big pencil stand. We have cardboard as shown like this. Find the total area of the cardboard use. That means we have to find the total surface area of the cardboard. So this is not exactly like a prism. So this space is open, yeah, open. And we have a base here. So these are the lateral faces. We can still find the some of the areas of all the faces involved. So the base will be, let's say this is 4 cm, 4 cm, this will be 16 cm square. What about these lateral faces? Height x cm, this is 4 cm. So this will be equal to the perimeter of the base times the height. So the perimeter of the base will be 4 cm times 4, this is a square, times height, times x cm. So this part will be the sum of the areas of all the lateral faces. And what about these two triangles? We can draw the triangle in this way. The height is 2 cm. What about the base of this triangle? Same as yeah, the base, 4 cm. And then for the area will be 1 over 2 times 4 times 2. So the area of this small triangle. And we need to multiply this by 2. And now we can uh, write down the answer for part A. The total area will be 4 times 4 plus 4 times 4 times 8 plus triangle. I mean, multi need to multiply this by 2. Don't forget the unit, cm square. The answer is 152 cm square. And now we can move on to part B. If 4 cm square of cover costs $3.3, find the total cost to make two such pencil stands. So the area of one is uh, one pencil stand, 152 cm square. So the total cost will be, we divide this by 4 cm square. Divide this by 4 cm square and then multiply this by 0.3 dollars. So this is the total cost of one pencil stand. For two, we multiply this by two. Therefore, if you do the calculation, 22.8 dollar.